The driver of a plumbing truck could spend more than 15 years in prison. Authorities say he hit a daycare van with his work truck, killing the driver. 39-year-old Martha Darlene Peterson, known by loved ones as Darlene. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy sat down with her family and best friend. I knock on her door and I sit on a chair and say, come on out. <laughs> she came on out and we sat here and we lose track of time while we were talking. Terry Baker spent a lot of time sitting on this porch in this rocking chair. His best friend Darlene Peterson would sit right yeah. next to him in this swing. This is what we do, sit, rock, and drink Diet Mountain Dew, and she'll drink Diet Pepsi. On Tuesday evening, he sat in the same spot waiting for yeah. Peterson to come home from work, but she never made it. Waiting and texting and calling, and she never answered. Peterson's passion was taking care of children. She worked in the daycare industry for more than a decade. She was driving children home from kids' country of Clayton when things took a tragic turn. Highway Patrol says the Busy Bee plumbing truck crossed the center line and struck the daycare van head on. Several kids were in the van. They got away with minor injuries, but Peterson didn't make it. Baker is now filled with regret. I just didn't ever speak up and I didn't ever say the final words, you know, and I wish I did now, but it's too late. He says he'll spend the rest of his life wishing things could have been different. I will tell her right now, I love her. I sure would. I probably would like to propose to her because I wish she meant that much to me. The driver of the work truck, 38-year-old Seth Tracy, is charged with felony death by motor vehicle and DWI. My mom died a hero. She saved those kids, and I'm proud about that. But I still didn't want to lose her. And Peterson leaves behind a 21-year-old daughter. Destiny is in college and studying biology. She's heartbroken, but says she isn't giving up on her dreams. Make her proud is all I can do. In Johnston County, Kelly Kennedy, CBS 17 News. And the president of Busy Bee Plumbing released a statement saying he wants to personally apologize. The statement continues in part, we absolutely do not allow employees to drive under the influence. We randomly drug test our employees and have records to show this. If we were notified of Mr. Tracy's condition Monday, he would never have been behind the wheel of our vehicle.